Hi everyone. Good evening. I'm Ryan, and uh, today I'm I'll be doing a Facebook Live Q and A session. So uh, basically, I received a few questions this week, and uh, I put it in the I put it in the this uh, video description, right? So there's one, two, three. There are five questions there, all right? So I'm going to answer these questions one by one, all right? So uh, the first question I have is uh, how to know when we should go long or buy and short or sell in daily breakout. Okay, now the beauty about daily breakout is that it's a very easy technique, very simple, uh, and as well as a very suitable for people who are new to trading, right, or who do not have any time to trade, but want to trade, all right? Um, because uh, all we have to do is uh, at the beginning of the trading day, right? So in, in Singapore, the beginning of my trading day would be about uh, 7, 8 a.m. in the morning, right? So that's the start of my trading day. So the first thing I would do is I would uh, take a look at yesterday's V1 candle. I identify the high and the low, all right? So I identify the high and the low. So at the high, I will buy stock and at the low, I will sell stock. Right, so we do not have to we do not have to guess or analyze about today do we buy or do we sell. So you just place a pending buy stop at the high and pending sell stop at the low, and that's it. Right, it's as easy as that, as simple as that. So no analysis required, no thinking required. All we have to do is just take a look at yesterday's D1 candle, buy at the high, sell at the low. That's all, all right? And then whichever one is triggered, so let's assume that the buy has been triggered, we cancel off the sell, all right? Hi, Mary Joy Odivillas. Good to see you. You're very early today. Okay, uh, so that's for question one, all right? Next will be our question two. Question two, how much is the cost fee? Uh, well, the cost fee is 3,000 US dollars. <laughs> I'm joking, right? The cost, the cost, this uh, entire, uh, all my trainings that I'm doing every week, right? Every Thursday I release a new new video or I do a live video, it's all free, right? You don't have to pay for it, right? Uh, I'm not gonna charge any cost fee, I will not be selling any courses, I'm not gonna sell any uh, investment plans, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not selling anything, right? Whatever I'm sharing with you guys is going to be free, all right? Okay, uh, next, question three. When is the best time to trade if you are an intraday trader? All right, so uh, hi, Amadou Anashiru. All right, okay, so when is the best time to trade if you are an intraday trader? Well, for me, um, as a full-time trader, right, intraday trader means uh, you trade in one day, right? So that means you place a position today and then you're going to exit within the same day, right? You're not going to hold on your trade for a few days, you know? It's just going to be, a, your trade is just going to run for a few hours, right? So that's the definition of an intraday trader. So the best time to trade, right, is whenever you have one or two hours to sit down in front of the computer screen to trade. To me, that is the best time, right? Of course, some other people, and these are not wrong answers, yeah? Some other people might tell you, okay, the best time to trade is maybe uh, in the evening, right? We're talking about Singapore time here. So in the evening, about uh, maybe about 8 p.m. to midnight, right? Why do they say that's the best time to trade? Because maybe during that time, the European markets are open, the US markets are open as well. So there is more volume, right? More trading volume. So the prices tend to move faster, right? The prices tend to move faster and also move the price move more during that, that three to four hours, right? So a lot of people feel that that is the best time to trade. But for me, you know, I feel that the best time to trade is when you have two hours to sit down in front of the screen, right? Like for me, when I trade, I always trade in the morning, Singapore time, right? So most of the time I will take a look at my charts at about 7 a.m., 8 a.m., and then I'll sit in front of my screen for maybe two hours maximum. So by 10, 11 a.m., I'm done, right? So, and people will tell you in the morning, the trading volume is very thin, right? The, 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 the price does not move much, but I've already done my trading by 11, 10, 11 a.m. in the morning. Right, so for me, that is the best time to trade, 
right? But some other people, maybe you are you are, you are, you are still working, you have a full time job, right? Then uh, you can only trade at night in the evening, right? So 8 p.m. to midnight, you know, or maybe 9 p.m. to midnight. That is the best time for you to trade because there's more volume, more the price moves more during that period of time. Yeah, then then I guess that would be your best time to trade. All right, so there is there is no. In Forex, there is no hard and fast rule that this is correct, right? So like, like my, my personal motto and my company motto, right? Do you want to be right or do you want to be rich, right? You can be trading, you can be trading totally different from what everybody else is doing, right? People might say, oh, Ryan, you're trading the wrong way. But as long as I'm making money, who cares? You know, right? Who cares? As long as you look, the objective of trading is to make money. That's all. It's not to prove whether you are right or whether you are wrong. Whichever method, whichever technique gives gives you profit, that is the correct method. That's the correct technique. All right. Uh, next, uh, how to trade? Wow, that's a very general question. All right, now how to trade? Well, first of all, I guess you need to have a trading account. Right, you need to have a trading account to trade. So, uh, so that that's the first thing, right? Then, secondly, you need to know the basic, uh, the basic, uh, the basic what would I call it? Um, you know, the the basic commands, right? The basic commands. So you, so basically, you need to know how to press the buy, how to press the sell. All right. So, oh yeah, in in my video on Thursday, I actually asked you guys to leave a comment, right? Uh, whether are you a new trader or experienced trader? And I realized that there were a lot of people who had never traded before, right? So maybe what I'm going to do is uh, over the next few weeks, I will be, uh, I, I, will, I will come up with a very uh, basic course, right? A course that is very basic. It will teach you all the basic functions, right? Maybe how to, how to open an account, how to uh, how to place a trade, you know, how to draw trend lines, how to um, analyze, excuse me, how to how to analyze uh, what the market is doing, you know, what is the uptrend, what's the downtrend. This kind of very basic stuff. Maybe I'll come up with a few videos of that, right? And then uh, I will share it share it with all of you, right? I'll probably send an email to you guys uh, with a link. Right? Or maybe I'll put it on the Facebook page as well with a link to go and watch all these videos. So there'll be very basic stuff, right? The one, the the, the videos that were be on Thursday, right? The Thursday videos. I don't want to do um, basic stuff, right? I want to be giving you guys. I, I want to teach you guys how to make money, right? So I don't want you to wait one whole week and then suddenly the video comes out. It's oh, how to click the buy or how to click the sell, right? You 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 want to learn how to make money, right? Not 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 just this basic stuff. So this basic stuff, we can learn it at our own time, right? Uh, uh, outside of the Thursday webinars, all right? Okay, and then the last question, number five, which is the best strategy with low risk and return? Low risk and return. Okay, so I'm assuming you're asking which is low risk and high return, right? Well, um, the best strategy, right? Um, the best strategy for me might not be the best strategy for you. Right? Why do I say that? Well, it depends on the kind of trading profile that uh, trader profile that you are. Right? Some people like to trade trends. Right? Some people like to trade uh, the swings. Right? The ranges. Right? Some people like to trade breakouts. Some people like to trade reversals. Right? So, for example, let's say you like to trade the range. Right? And then I teach you a strategy that goes for the trend. You're not going to enjoy it. Right? Or you might find that it's a very risky trade for you. Right, because you are so used to trading ranges, right? If you're a swing trader, and then I teach you to trade breakouts, or you're a reversal trader, and I teach you how to trade breakouts, you might also say, Oh, this is not a suitable strategy for me, right? So it really depends on what kind of uh, trader profile you are, right? So to me, I find that the best strategy is the one that uh, that is most suitable to your trading profile, right? So you gotta ask yourself a question, right? 
you got to ask yourself this question. Are you a trend trader or a range trader? Right? Only after you have answered this question, then we can decide what kind of strategy is going to be suitable for you. Right? So far, the two techniques that I shared with you, the two techniques I shared with you, the ABC technique as well as the daily breakout technique, these two are very suitable for people who don't really have time to trade, right? Especially daily breakout, because daily breakout is basically a set and forget technique, right? You can set the pending orders in the morning and then forget about it the whole day. Right? And then at the end of the day, you check it. Right? Or that, that, that is not, I'm not encouraging every one of you to do that, right? Of course, ideally, you should still be able to look at your charts when the trade has been triggered because you need to cancel off the other pending order. All right? Uh, and then the ABC technique is another good one, right? Especially, let's say you can only trade in the evening, right? Let's say only between 8 p.m. to 12 midnight, those four hours. So within that four hours, you definitely want to take one trade, right? So you can do the ABC technique. You look through a few different currency pairs, whichever one gives you the setup, you trade that pair, you trade that, you, you place your entries, all right? Hi, uh, Ladi Love, right? I hope I'm not pronouncing your name wrongly, all right? So, um, so basically that's all the questions I had for this week, right? So if you have any more questions, right? Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to drop me an email, right? Or feel free to just put it in the comment section of any of the training videos, right? So uh, every time there's a comment I, I, or there's a question, I will take note of it and then uh, I'll answer it during one of these uh, during the next uh, Facebook Live Q&A session, right? I plan, or currently the plan is to do one, one, uh, one uh, trading video every Thursday, and then maybe a Facebook Live session every Sunday, right? I'm thinking Sunday, right? Sunday is good because it's the end of the week, right? And then tomorrow, Monday, we start trading again, right? So, so whatever questions you have, we can all answer it before the start of the trading week. So I feel that is good. And also at the same time, you see the video, the education video is on Thursday, right? So you have uh, Thursday night, right? So you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday to watch the videos, absorb, and then if you have any doubts, any questions, you can post the questions, and then I will respond to you on Sunday night during the Facebook Live Q&A session. All right, so, uh, so that's all for the five questions. So like I mentioned again, uh, I hope to do uh, I'm very excited to share. Uh, I'm always very excited to share my knowledge with you guys. So, um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Right? It can be any type of questions related to trading. Right? Don't feel shy or don't feel afraid that uh, your question is too basic. Right? There is no such thing as a stupid question. Right? Every question is good because when you ask a question, everyone learns together. Right? Because whatever question you thought about, maybe. The other person didn't think about it. And then the other person thought of a question which you didn't think about it, right? So when you guys ask questions and I answer those questions, all of us can learn together, all right? Okay, so that's it for this uh, Q&A session. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to announce the, the, the winner for the this week's US $100, right? Because uh, obviously the first... The, the first winner I announced um, did not respond to, to any of the messages, all right? So I'm going to open up uh, Facebook on my mobile phone, right? Just give me a second here. Okay, so I have, I have my mobile phone here, all right? So I'm going to, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to uh, last Thursday, uh, sorry, I'm going to go to Thursday's uh, video, right? Where you guys posted the comments, all right? Okay, let me search for it. Ah, okay, daily breakout. There it is. Okay, so there are 65 comments here, right? 65 comments here. So 65 of you will have the chance to win the US uh, $100. All right. So I'm going to load all the. I'm going to load up all the comments, right? I'm just clicking on view previous comments, view previous comments. All right. So okay, so all the all the uh, comments are here, right? I don't think you can see it clearly, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to scroll up and down, right, up and down, and then uh, up and down, and then I'm going to pick the winner from here, all right? Okay, so the winner is uh, Cam Eczema, right? Cam 
eczema. Did I pronounce your name correctly? All right. So I'll put down the winner's uh, name in the comment box below. And then uh, Chem Eczema, please uh, drop me a private message on Facebook and then I'll send you the instructions on how to how to claim the US hundred dollars. All right, let me just type in the name first. You uh, this week's USD hundred dollar winner. Please drop me a message on Facebook. Sorry, private message. Private message on Facebook and to claim your price. All right? Okay. So all right. So um that's it for this week. Alright, so today is Sunday. It's the last day of the week for most of us, right? Monday we go back to work again. So for me, Monday is uh, I start trading again, right? So I'm pretty excited. I'm always very excited about Mondays because it's the start of the trading week. All right. So I wish I wish all of you good luck in your trading. All right. And then uh, if there's any live setups tomorrow or in the next few days, I will I will I will um, post them on Facebook. All right. Okay, so, um, right, so that's it, and have a good week ahead. All right, thank you so much. Good night, everyone.